How goes it, bros? So I just finished building the world's first working Minecraft creeper. And if you're wondering why I even did this, well, I've been waiting for the Minecraft real life update for quite a while now. So I decided to take it upon myself to bring us one step closer to bringing Minecraft into real life. Starting with, of course, the creeper. So this thing is pretty crazy guys. I control it with this remote control and not only can it go in any direction, you heard me right folks, any direction, but it can even reach top speeds of 10 miles per hour. As long as it's going downhill of course. Now I didn't give this creeper AI or anything, but for some reason it really enjoys face planning. But this isn't just your everyday face planning robot. This thing's actually got a proximity sensor on the front of it which tells the creeper just how close it is to an object. And that proximity sensor is connected to the most important feature in this entire project. But first, let me quickly walk you through what it actually took to build this creeper. I started by making a design in Fusion 360, but uh, nobody really cares about that. Then I 3D printed each part and glued them all together. Perfect. To make the walking mechanism, I first tore apart an RC car. Then I put the front and back wheels into the feet of the creeper. And finally, I slapped a little paint on the whole thing. And there we have it, a real life Minecraft creeper. Now you might be saying to yourself, hold up a minute, that ain't no real creeper. A real creeper explodes when it gets close to something. Well everyone, remember that ultrasonic sensor I mentioned a really long time ago? So I actually ended up wiring that sensor to an Arduino, which for those who don't know, is a microcontroller. And I wired the Arduino to an electronic switch, which controlled a coil, which was connected to an explosive. So basically the way it works is whenever something comes within about a foot of the sensor, there's a big boom. At least, as long as something doesn't go wrong. But that's part of why I included this little LED, that way I would know whenever the coil is triggered just to make sure I don't accidentally explode myself. Then I installed all the components into the creeper's head. I also packed a little bit of flour in there with hopes it would make the explosion appear much more Minecraft-like. However, when I did this, I went full tiny brain mode and I didn't even think about how exploding the flour could actually create a massive fireball. So uh, maybe don't try this at home, kids. Now, the creeper's whole purpose is to blow up Steve. So naturally, I made a cardboard Steve. I also made a few blocks so that Steve could build a house. Originally, they were supposed to be planks, but now they're just weird. All right, guys, so the time has finally come to blow this thing up. Let's do it. Bruh. So it's been a few minutes and this thing still hasn't exploded. So remember how I added that LED? It's kind of hard to tell right now, but the LED is actually on. So that means the coil's on. And the only way I can safely figure out what's going on is if I first turn off the coil. All right, so it turns out that the problem was just that the coil came off of the fuse. So now I tightened it back on there. So now it's time to blow this thing up. Same problem, but I fixed it. So now it's finally time to blow this thing up. Bro! <laughs> 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 The explosion was actually insanely more destructive than I was expecting. Some of the carnage even flew pretty far. And somehow the explosion didn't actually end up turning into a massive fireball, which actually would have been kind of awesome. But the flower actually did end up making the explosion look way cooler. You know guys, I think Steve might have actually been using hacks here because somehow he was able to come out of the explosion from less than a block away totally fine. Definitely using some kind of hacks. Sadly though, all that's left of the creeper is its feet. They did actually move around for a little bit afterwards, which, um is a little weird, but technically they do still work and they can go 10 miles an hour when you push them down a hill, just like before. So uh, what do you guys think I should make next? Should it be like a, a blaze or a ravager? Maybe a life-sized ender dragon? Or maybe even a cow? <laughs> 